multiple ways of playing. I think he can lead to higher percentage looks with the bigs running the offense. You can strike a nice balance between inside and out, which coaches are preaching right now. off the inbound the shot won't fall and Los Angeles the other way now out left to the wing and they go to the intentional foul you don't want to stop the clock right there I'm not quite sure what he was thinking yeah but that's no excuse for that kind of foul I mean that might be an explanation for it but it certainly doesn't justify it and even then it's uh, just not a good play six on the shot clock James. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. Second team. And it's going to go on Devin Booker. Hey, you want to try to guard LeBron? Good luck. I mean, the king is impossible to stop. Fast, strong, smart, tough, creative. Draws lots of fouls. And you look at the career that LeBron has put together. One of the all-time greats. Amazingly lived up to the hype he had coming out of high school. Pass to Aiden. Goes up again. No good. Not a friendly rim at all this trip down. And that one goes in as he's fouled. It'll be three points if he converts the free throw. And the immense pressure LeBron has had since day one of the NBA. Many others would have folded, Grant. The very true B.A. The expectations he had were just insane. Anything less than a top five player all time would be a disappointment. That's not fair to ask of any player coming into league, much less a high schooler. Outside Booker. Rebound by the Lakers. A rare miss for him at point-blank range. That's one he'd like to have back. And there's the rejection. For the finish. Boy, how about the outstanding hustle from Durant? I mean, getting out on the break as soon as the ball was headed the other way. The more bodies going up court, the better. Here's Davis. Outside for Russell. That's in there. Davis with the assist. Defensively, you have to stay connected to him on the perimeter. Oh, and the jam by Aiton. Good court vision from Booker. He sees a wide open man and gets him the ball for an assist. Russell into the lane. The ball's knocked loose. And that's out of bounds. The Lakers will retain possession. Here's James. Here's Davis. And Davis slams it home. Davis using that athleticism to battle it out on the glass. From in that tight, hard to stop AD. Just owning the painted area. If it's working, no need to change. And the Phoenix Suns have been a completely different team since acquiring Chris Paul. He's the leader of this team, and he helps set the tone on both ends. That's his first personal foul. Boy, the city of Phoenix really embracing Chris Paul as soon as he arrived. Yeah, I mean, he's in the latter stages of his career now. But you would never know it based on how hard he plays every single night. He just makes everyone on this team so much better. Two minutes for the end of the first. The Suns trailing. And the foul on the shot. So he'll take two from the free throw line. His ability to score on the move is part of what makes Booker so dangerous. He's just not a spot-up shooter. That's a lot of those He's perfect from the line this time. Already a terrific career for Booker. Three-time All-Star. And then last year, he was named to the All-NBA First Team. Just a big honor. It's 
James with the drive. Hey, it's James slamming it down. LeBron showing you how he does it. A stylish flush by King James. And Aiton with the stuff. Outstanding distribution there. I mean, what impressive passing ability. And with Booker, it's not just the scoring. Grant, he does a little bit of everything. Hey, B.A., I mean, you go back and look at last season. He had career highs in rebounds, steals, blocks. I mean, he's learned how to affect the game, even when his shot isn't falling, which is rare. And we've heard LeBron James say he's obsessed with win or bust. And this Lakers franchise certainly has that same approach. But aside from their 2020 title, there's been a lot of frustration. Now, can he and the Lakers get back where they expect to be? And just a great job of getting there first and absorbing the contact. No question about it. No flop there. That was a direct shot to the chest. Back to Booker. That was a good call. The defense wasn't established. Yeah, it looked like it. I mean, he kind of slid underneath as he got to the spot, too. The first free throw is good. And the move that really shook up the NBA world. I mean, Kevin Durant asking and receiving a trade out of Brooklyn. Now, with this team, he makes them a title favorite overnight. Back to Davis. Now here's Russell. Five to shoot. Fires from the wing. He's in his comfort zone. Two for two to start this one. You know, we've talked about the stroke before. The repeatable motion that Russell has. I'm trying to find that with my golf swing, fellas. Because of his stroke, though, he can be rough if he gets locked in. Already five lead changes here. Speaks to how evenly matched these teams have been thus far. Duran on the attack. And you can count it. He'll go to the line with a chance at a three-point play. Man, Durant is a flat-out baller, showing off his wily strength on these tough finishes. He's a thin guy, but he's a strong guy. Reeves. Offline with a three. Pass to Durant. Stolen by Russell. Kevin Durant has been leading the charge for the Phoenix Suns. 11 points in the quarter. He's on five. 15. The Suns. 19. And for those of you just tuning in, second quarter action is where we are. And take a look at the Suns' performance here, guys. What are your thoughts? Well, clearly they played well in the first period because of their selfless attitude. Yeah, and you know, so many of their hoops came off an assist, which is a good sign of ball movement and sharing that ball. Outside Booker. And in any season, you'll have your struggling teams. Clark is a competitor. How hard is it to bring your best when you're enduring a tough stretch? Well, I think it comes down to the responsibility you have to yourself and your team to give it your best shot. And competitors want to compete, and you have to relish that, even when you have the deck stacked against you. So weathering adversity and still being professional and committed to competing, I think is the mark of every pro, should be the mark of every pro. Pass to Davis. And finished off by Davis. And I tell you what, AD is able to brush off those defenders with ease because of how strong he is. That's what they call weight room. I just love the aggressive finish. Now, I'm thinking he's sending a strong message with that jam. That's exactly how you send it. Two hands and down. He just brings a great feel for the game at the offensive end. Oh, and the jam by Aiton. Would have been impossible for KD to miss his teammate there. He was wide open. Pass to Vanderbilt. Outside for Davis. Six to shoot. 
And Aiden pulls it down. The Suns leading. Perhaps the biggest surprise in the league last year, the Lakers missing the playoffs. Before the season, lots of people had them winning it all. Durant with the bucket. Durant's got 15. Obviously, the defense has its eyes on Durant with the ball, so he cleverly uses the pick and roll to create some space. And a disappointing 2021-22 season for the Lakers, Clark. What went wrong? Well, they just couldn't stay healthy, B.A., and we know that's such a critical component when you're talking about trying to win it all. I mean, you got to be healthy. Injuries to LeBron and A.D., they missed a combined 78 games. You're not winning anything when your top players don't play at least 80% of your game. You're not gonna, it's not happening. Uh, that's almost a full season missed between those two guys. And so when you're older, sometimes the injury bugaboo can jump up and bite you, and it sure got the Lakers last season. And Aiden with the stuff. Ross has earned his reputation as a team first guy. Excellent at distributing the ball. James doesn't go for him. Durant with it. Picked up by James. Durant's shot is off. The Lakers trail. Shoots from the baseline. And again, no good by the Lakers. Outside Paul. Into the lane. And it's blocked by Davis. And it goes out of bounds. That one off Davis. And about three minutes played now in the second quarter. The kick out to Paul. Back to Aiden. Oh, a beautiful reverse layup. 12 points for him. Paul is so gifted at creating for his teammates. I mean, he's just got a special neck, and it's one that's been honed over years and years of playing. He really does work hard to get everybody involved. Pass to Aiden. Off target. That would have pushed the lead to double digits. And it didn't take long for Phoenix to match the offer sheet Aiden signed with the Indiana Pacers. Now, there was talk they might let Aiden walk after that fallout during their playoff exit. But Phoenix knew they needed to keep Aiden to remain a contender. That free throw misses. Anthony. And Anthony Davis on the NBA's top 75 list. Grant, do you think that was a controversial selection? Well, I mean, it was mostly due to how young Davis still is. You can't argue with the all-NBA selection and numbers. And, of course, being a recent champion may have put him over the top. And once more this half, they find a way to get great position inside. Pass to Russell. Releases from 15. Second chance shot. And no good. And Phoenix the other way now. That's his second. All right, guys, what do you think so far about the offensive approach for Phoenix? They've done a great job establishing an inside presence. Now that'll open up more options offensively throughout the remainder of the game. And the Lakers call time here. All right, guys. Here comes your Lakers. Hard to imagine Durant not going down as one of the great scores this league has ever seen. As a matter of fact, that's a given, folks. Dynamic, explosive, and he's consistent year in and year out. To the paint. Aiton. Down low. Oh, and the jam by Aiton. Nice one-handed jam. Simple and effective, B.A. Hey, with the lead, I'm surprised he didn't come up with something a little more creative. Well, I think he did plenty of damage nonetheless. I mean, it was only with one hand, but he still threw that down pretty hard. Pass to Durant.
Back to Booker. Launches it. Rebound, the Lakers. Seven second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Here's James. Durant pulls it in. Outside Booker. Takes a three. He drains that one after two misses. Now one for three. Man, it's tough to contain Booker on the catch and shoot because of his smooth, quick release. <laughs> Impressive. Here's Beasley. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. His fourth personal foul, the fourth team foul. First free throw is good. You know, when Beasley stays within himself, I think he's really an effective player. And we know he's skilled on offense. He gets it off. That shot is off. So we conclude the first half. The Suns on top. They lead by 13. Don't go away. We'll be back momentarily. And with the second half upon us, we'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. Phoenix calls timeout. Well, these Suns have had a successful past couple of seasons. Yeah, B.A., I mean, they certainly know the greatness they're capable of. They can give you a lot of confidence out there on the floor, even against other elite teams. And just one of the most impressive titles in league history, guys. The 2020 Lakers winning it all in the Orlando bubble. A testament to LeBron James and that team. Here's James. Ooh, excellent D there from Aiden. Durant with it. Picked up by James. And there's a pick. And the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. That one on Russell. You know, that 2020 bubble title for the Lakers. What made it so difficult? You know, B.A., the mental grind of all that time in the bubble. Three months in the same place. NBA players are used to being in four cities in a week. So it really was a different kind of challenge for them. That's precisely what they got to do right now. Attack the rim. And if you happen to get fouled, maybe you earn a trip to the line out of it. Back to Booker. Screen by Durant. Clock at six. 4-3. Rebounded by the Lakers. And so they choose to intentionally foul. Here's James. Not going to go that time. The Suns go the other way with it. Outside Booker. It's Ross on the wing. Back to Booker. Phoenix calls timeout. And when Aiden isn't playing basketball, either the live or video game version, he's often drawing. Yeah, I mean, he grew up wanting to be an architect. I actually hear that he loves blueprints. But probably his most famous sketch, himself dunking on Joel Embiid his rookie year. Baisley misses. They're doing what they can do to mount a comeback. And B.A., they don't have to get it all back at once. Just focus on making every possession count. And let's send it over to Ali LaForce. Well, guys, with the yearly roster moves, it might be hard for the casual fan to keep track. But Commissioner Silver said it's a necessary side effect. He said, quote, we tried to tie performance to pay in a closer way, and I think that's what you see with shorter contracts. Brian, more player movement has been the result. Yeah, good point, Allie. Thanks. Hey, yo, right here. Hey, right here. And we're just about two minutes into the final half of play now. Here's Baisley. Misses the three. Man, just terrible defense. I don't know how he missed that shot. Hit his foot. And the ref's whistling a kickball. Here's James. 
Defensively, Aiden's always had the size and length. Where he's really improved is with the angles he takes to the ball. Just great energy on the offensive glass. That's exactly how you cut into a lead. Boy, a slam like that is sure to give them a spark. Which is a spark they desperately need. They've got to ramp up the intensity. Great job setting him up. The timing of the pass was key. Oh, rejected by Aiton. Yeah, Aiton has all the physical gifts of a great shot blocker. Size, length, and agility. Here's Booker. He's got five. Shot clock at six. And Aiton gets it to go. Aiden's got 20 points. DeAndre. Yeah, when you let Aiden get the ball close, it's over. DeAndre is just too skilled. Time called here. Los Angeles decides to talk it over. The Suns making a switch here. Here are the Lakers now. Their defense has only allowed six points in the second half. Back to Russell. There's the three. And again, the Lakers, no good. And now the Suns, fast break. Oh, the speed of T-Ross. Really something to see in the open court. James inside. Here's Vanderbilt. And Vanderbilt slams it in. And their offensive rebounding is such a strength for them when he's on the floor. Yeah, he really helps them extend possessions, doesn't he? And you know, those second chance opportunities can be game changers. He represents so much value to this team because of what he does. And this is how dynamic Aiden can be on the offensive end. Keep getting him the ball, please. Back to James. And a foul call on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. It's going to be on DeAndre Ayton. Had he play to stop that easy layup right there. I mean, make him earn it at the line. Yeah, exactly. I mean, free throws are always better than a layup. So I'd agree with you there. LeBron led the NBA in assists during his 2020 title season with the Lakers becoming the second oldest player ever to lead the league in that category. Here's Aiton. Some solid defense from James. And that's an intentional foul. Kevin Durant. That's his first personal foul. Third team foul. And that one misses. At the line for the Lakers, Anthony Davis. He hits the second from the line. You know, in this 21st century version of the NBA, just being big is not enough. Davis personifies the evolution of the big guy. He's got game from everywhere on the floor. Here's Durant. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. And he drops the first. And both free throws good for Durant. That's what he does. Rock solid at the line. Pass to Davis. Outside Russell. Three-pointer. Can't get it to drop. Durant with it. It's Booker on the wing. Shoots over Davis. And as we end the third quarter, a double-digit deficit will make it tough to come back. Suns ahead. And as we head into the fourth, we'll see if there's a comeback in the works, or if it's more of the same for the first three quarters. Pass to Aiden. Well-placed jumper from the free-throw line. Aiden's got 24 points. Love seeing Aiden take these mid-range jumpers. He realizes guys at his position have to hit these kind of shots. I love great defense. Just quick to establish his feet, and he takes the hit. And not afraid to put his body on the line either. He took a shot for the team in that situation. Durant, no good. 
James inside. Pass to Vanderbilt. Davis with room to shoot. And that one's long. With the defense absent, that was a great opportunity, but no go. Screen by Duran. Over to the wing. And stolen by Vanderbilt. High post Davis. The shot's good on the assist by James. Boy, AD showing you how strong and willing to work he is because that was a difficult bucket there. Right side Durant. To the middle. Here's Aiden. Uses the glass on the layup. Aiden's got 10 points here in the second half. And just not letting up at all. I mean, you have to love this approach. You want to get the ball to the guys who make plays. If it's working, keep working it. That's what I say. Keep the pressure on them. Outside Booker. Jacks up a three. Nails it from beyond the arc. And the Suns lead by 21. And there's James from the arc. Fires in the triple. That's the competitive fire that burns with LeBron James. He's happy to come right back with one of his own. Durant for three. Rebounded by the Lakers. Outside Davis. Davis drawing the double team. James inside. Here's Vanderbilt. Ooh, and he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. It's going to be on DeAndre Ayton. Second team. <laughs> no debate there. He, he got hammered. Blatant contact. Straightforward call. Simple. The Lakers making a switch here. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. Just under two and a half minutes gone by now in the final quarter. Here's Aiton. To the inside. Inside. Stolen by Davis. James inside. The shot misses. Nice D from Durant. It's going to be on LeBron James. That's his fourth foul of the contest. Third minute of action now gone here in the fourth. Hooker attacking. Pass to Aiden. And Aiton with the stuff. Yeah, looking at Aiton using all of his height and reach, slamming it down on a helpless defense. Now Booker. Outside Durant. And Davis with the block. No, sir, don't bring that in here. AD having none of that. What an imposing figure he is defensively. You know, that's one that'll stay with us for a while. I mean, Davis, one of those guys that can really electrify a crowd, no matter what building he's in. They came out and had a statement win with their performance tonight. A fantastic effort to get it done here for the Suns. What would you say the deciding factor in this game was, Grant? Yeah, B.A., ultimately you have to look at their field goal percentage. They were the more efficient team because they found clean looks all night. And of all the highlights and performances we've seen here tonight, the one thing that stands out is what an unbelievable night it's been for DeAndre Ayton. And, you know, there was no stopping him tonight. Whenever he got the ball, he was looking to score, and rightly so. And they're able to recover. Here's Russell. Shot clock at five. Can't cash it in from close range. Out to the wing. And there's the foul. It's on D'Angelo Russell. 